summary or do you uh, need we've, new we've done, I'm going to use this map to discuss oh. things and we'll go over things yeah. as well. So if you want to write notes down, you can. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you what this is. We've, gone, we've done the Schlieffen plan, uh -huh. the battle of the, what actually happens and why it fails. Okay. We did the battle of the Marne. We did the race to the sea, which leads to trench warfare between Switzerland, from Switzerland all the way to the, the, the border. From the beginning of the war, there's a war that lasts the whole war, battle that lasts the whole war. It's called the Battle of the Atlantic. The Battle of the Atlantic is a supply route between North America and Europe. Who benefits from that supply? U.S., Canada, Canada U.S., and U.K., and France. Wait, it's a supply Not line the Germans. From North America. Especially from the Germans. Because the Germans are being blockaded from day one. So there's, they're not able to break the blockade. That's an important factor. Wait. So as a result, rationing begins in Germany from day one. But what does this have to do with... So you said that it's a supply line from North America to, to Europe. To Europe, and particularly only to the Allies. Okay. So the money is leaking from England particularly. They're spending huge amounts. Their, their entire gold reserves by the end of the war will be in New York. So you're seeing a transformation of the United States from, in the beginning, a, a debtor nation to a creditor nation. So it will become the world's dollar by the end of the war. Money going from England? England, particularly England, they used to be the world's creditor, to the United States, New York. Creditor. creditor means you lend out all the money. You're the one lending oh. the money. So the world came and used the pound as the main source of, of, of money, what, was the, what people use when they don't talk about the dollar, they oh, send so the pound. Oh, so you mean like how we compare things to the U.S. Dollar. Yes. Okay. The entire world right now compares things to the United States that began after World War One. So the this battle of the Atlantic is actually an ongoing war battle that lasts four years. Yes. Okay. So the Germans at Ypres, the reason they're trying to do, they're trying to knock the British out of the war. They're trying to hit the this British. This is the second. This is first battle and second battle of Ypres. Both happen in the beginning of in in the same year. Eep, Eep, y -P -R -E -S. It's a salient. Remember what a salient is? Yes. Okay. So it allows you to pound the, the defenses from three sides. Mm -hmm. That's why they do it. So around Eep, there's a salient, and the Germans pound it and attack it. And both times, it fails. The reason they do it there is because it's a nice salient, and it's against the English, and they use poison gas in the second one against the Canadians. And they actually held the line. Why? How do they do it? Because they eat. They use and pee, they cool. and they use the machine gun, and the Germans used the open tactics of charge en masse, and they were cut down. Okay. But the, Canada wasn't involved in the first battle? Not in the first battle. Okay. In the first battle of Ypres, the, um, the Indian troops held the line. The Germans knew they were Indian and thought they wouldn't good fight as well. Well, they were wrong. So the Indian troops for, were fighting, and helped the British. Okay, the British make an attack, uh, you don't need to know the name, it's called Neue Chapelle, and of course fails. So both sides have attacked at this time. Here's Eep. This is at, this is the same the this, British attack at the same time as Eep? Uh, yes, in another section. So but don't don't you don't have to know this. But I'm just saying that they're, they're both sides are failing to attack to break the other side. How do you spell Eep? Y P R E S. But the British are failing to on their whatever on, on their attack against British the Germans British. as well. So this is from April twenty second, a one month attack. You can see it's just the capturing of a few villages and this at the cost of a hundred thousand, sixty for three percent and thirty seven percent German. So ninety five thousand casualties for in one month, and neither side gets an advantage. Okay. And this lasted the battle of the lasted a month. And um, so English try to respond. English, it's basically the English and the French attack, and, they, and neither side, this is a loose, don't worry about the name. And then 1916. Okay, 1916, they finally, both sides at 1915 are basically preparing huge amounts of material and men. So 1915 is actually not very exciting on the Western Front. It's not massive, massive attacks because both sides are amassing and preparing for that massive attack, which happens in 1917. They're huge amounts of materials. 1916 is the prep year. You said 1915. Oh, 1950. Yeah. Sorry, 1915 is the prep year. 1916 is the year they finally let loose. They've, they've been building for an entire year 
the supplies that they're going to use in 1916. So this is the attempt from the German side is to bleed France white. Remember we talked about this? Verdun. Okay. Go there, take a look. It, it puts you in awe and perspective of what scale this was. Hundreds of thousands of men, small area. You can walk this in a day. You get out at a tiny town and you can walk around here in a day. It takes you a day. You can walk the whole thing. No problem. Less than a day. Have lunch in one area. Walk around, have dinner in another area. It takes you a day to walk this whole area. That's, that's if the ground's solid, though. No, it's not. Well, yeah, but I mean, in terms of, in terms of scale, size. it's in terms of size, this is smaller than the, like Vancouver. This is not even Vancouver. This is like from the size of, from UBC basically to where, a little past where we are. So it, it's really small. Like you can walk it a hole in a day. And you, like, hundreds of, a million men died there. A million men. Oh, it's massive grinder. Anyway, we're done. Um, the Germans lose 350,000 men, and French lose 400,000 men. And the call at Verdun. So it was an attempt to take the, for the Germans to literally bleed the French white, to get rid of all their men, so that they can't defend it. And it almost works. Why doesn't it work? Because the British make an ill-conceived attack that forces the Germans to pull some of their troops from Verdun, and they can't attack and defend at the same time. Why was it... So the they Germans are them. attacking here, and they get here, and they're pushing the attack, and it looks like they're going to win, and then the Somme on July 1st. Oh. July 1st is the attempt by the English to, on July 1st, and you learn what, what happens to Newfoundland? The entire thing gets okay. Yeah. And this is where? This is, this is the Somme. So from 1st of July to 15th of November. Wait, so that was right on. That's the Somme. Somme. When does Somme when start? Does Somme starts a little earlier. It starts in the spring. Ends in the, in the end of the summer. Wait, why does it? Why? Why? No, you just said. I'll back up. You just said Somme was I'll back July. Up. Okay, okay so February attack July. until July. Okay? February attack until July, and then.